Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. Welcome to my video series, The Filters of Aurora HDR 2018. In this video, we're going to take a look at the HSL filter that's found in Aurora HDR 2018. HSL stands for Hue, Saturation, and Luminance. And those of you that are familiar with Lightroom can see that this filter looks very similar to the HSL tab that's in Lightroom. Well, it operates pretty much the same exact way as the HSL tab in Lightroom. Those of you not familiar with this tool, it's a very versatile tool that allows you to adjust several attributes of different colors independently from one another. Those attributes are hue, saturation, and luminance. And the colors are red, orange, yellow, green, aqua, blue, purple, and magenta. So you could come in and you could adjust the hue of red, the saturation of red, and the luminance of red, and really not affect any of the other colors. So this comes in quite handy when you have an image such as this with a lot of different colors in it, some cool colors up in the sky, a lot of warmer colors throughout the grasses and the trees. And I want to come in and I want to maybe add a little pizzazz to the uh, picture. And I could do that very easily with the HSL tab. Now, first of all, we have hue. So you would click on hue and you could adjust the hue from the hue range, I guess, of each of these colors. Often I don't mess with hue that much. But sometimes, especially if I'm taking landscape images that have mountains in them and sky in them, sometimes the mountains and or the sky look a little purple. So I would come in with you and I would take this blue slider and move it towards the left. And that tends to pull any purple out of those mountains and sky. Beyond that, I don't do a lot with these sliders. A lot of people, a lot of photographers do some very creative things with the hue part of the HSL. Uh, you know, filter. They, they're able to do some real surreal looks, some alternate reality type colors to their shots. That's just not my style. So those of you that are into that, definitely experiment with that. But what I mainly use the U saturation luminance filter for is just to add, as I mentioned, a little pizzazz to my pictures to add a little depth. And how I often do that with a landscape image, I will click on the saturation tab right here. And then these uh, grasses here. Grasses, you can see there's some greens and yellows in there. And what I will do is I will often boost the yellow saturation just a little bit. And you won't see much of an effect yet. And then what I'll do is I'll click on the luminance tab. And the luminance is actually the, how bright that specific color is. And then when I go down to yellow, if I move it to the right, you'll see the grass is getting a lot brighter because mainly that grass is a lot, of, a lot more yellow than, say, those trees in the background. So I'll move that to the right. Then I'll often take the green slider and move the luminance value of green down. So I'm making the greens a little darker and I'm making the yellows a little brighter. And I often do that because it just adds a little more variance to the grass. So you just don't have this patch of green grass. You have a patch of grasses that is green and yellow with varying tones. And it adds a little more depth to the image. It also adds a little more depth to the back. We have some of the yellows coming out in the trees in the background where it was more solid yellow before, or I'm sorry, more solid green before. So if I click on this little eyeball and turn this off, you can see before, after, before, after. Another thing I'll often do is with the luminance part of the HSL filter, I will take blue and I'll pull it down. And I'll do that for landscape images where I want to darken the sky. And I do that in lieu of the polarizing filter that is already in Aurora HDR 2018 that I covered in a previous video. I sometimes will just do it here. So that's the limits of probably me uh, utilizing this filter, but I encourage you to experiment with it. A lot of times you'll be taking images that have a lot more, um, you know, range of color in them than a typical landscape 
that has like, you know, land, sky, and maybe water in it. You might take a festival, a parade with a lot of different um, colors and uh, floats and people in, in costume. And you could come in here and you could enhance the colors. You could change the hue of the colors by clicking there and changing the sliders. Change the saturation of the colors by clicking there and changing the moving the sliders. And of course, the luminance of the colors by clicking that luminance tab and adjusting the colors. And again, you really are adjusting the colors independently of one another. If I come in here with luminance and I move red around, you can see it's pretty much just affecting the parts below the tree there, those wood chips that in the path a little bit that probably has a little red in it, but it's really not touching the sky or any of the green trees back there. So it's a very powerful tool where you could uh, change or affect the attributes of a specific color. So that's the HSL tab or HSL filter that's in Aurora HDR 2018. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.